Hi guys, today we're going to talk about Facebook automated rules and how they can save you a lot of money. Many dropshippers overlook this, they ignore these rules and they don't use Facebook's own system in order to create stop losses rules. And this is something we're going to talk about. I'm going to show you the two rules that I use all the time in any asset, in any ad account of mine and sticking to the end and I'm going to show you a few more secrets that can save you a lot of money. The main goal in setting automated rules is preventing you from losing money. Automated rules can be implemented in the Ads Manager. You don't need any specific or special software for this. And they are defined in each one of your accounts. So if you guys are running ads from multiple accounts, you need to set the rules for each one of them. And depending on how you structure your ads, you should uh, implement your rules for the campaign level, asset level, or the ad level. A few definitions uh, I want to clarify before we go on into creating the automated rules. So first of all, CPA. CPA is the amount of money you spent on ads divided by the number of sales you've had. So let's say I spent 40 bucks on Facebook ads and I had four sales then my CPA is $10. Break-even CPA. The break-even CPA is calculated by taking into account the product sale price minus the cost of goods, the amount you paid for purchasing the product from your supplier in make it AliExpress, Amazon, eBay or whatever, minus the fees that you paid to the payment gateways. So a quick example, let's say I'm selling a product for $19.99. My cost of goods is $4.99 and my fees are $2.5. Normally, roughly speaking, the fees are around 5% of the selling price because PayPal takes around 4%, Stripe similar, Shopify also 1%, so roughly 5%. Then your break-even CPA is 12.5 selling price minus cost of goods minus the fees this is the break-even CPA so the next thing is CPA out to cart this equals to the amount of money you spent divided by the number of unique out to cart that you've had so let's say you spent 30 bucks on Facebook ads and you had 10 add to carts, so your CPA add to cart is three bucks. Break even CPA divided by three is roughly your break even CPA to add to cart. What that means, uh, I'm assuming that your add to cart to sale ratio is run to is three to one. Normally, when dropshipping in low selling prices. This is the more or less the ratio you're supposed to have. So for every free out to cart that you've had, you're supposed to have at least one buyer. If the ratio is different, this means you had 20 out to cart and only one sale. So you probably have a technical issue in your checkout or some trust issues in your checkout. This is something you need to figure out. As I said, the normal ratio is more or less three to one. For every three add to cart, you're supposed to have one sale. So this is why my break-even CPA divided by three is roughly my break-even CPA to add to cart. I just want to emphasize that you guys have to remember to take a small buffer because the time that you're investing in creating, in creating the product, in working on your business, you need to take this into account. So when you calculate your break-even CPA, just add costs to the equation. This means, as I've said from the example before, I've, my, break -even, my original break-even CPA is 12.5, but, but I want to incorporate $2 per unit of my time, which is worth at least $2. So the break-even CPA that I'm aiming for is 12.5, minus two dollars so it equals as you can see ten dollars this is the break-even cpa including my buffer 
Okay guys, so let me show you now how we're going to set these automated rules in your Facebook. So there are two options in setting, uh, in order to set the automated rules. One of them is via the ads manager. You just choose whether you want, you just choose which campaign or ad set you want to place rules on it. So let's say I chose this campaign or and this one as well. Then I go here. I select the create new rule and now I can apply rules to all the campaigns, all the active ad sets in those campaigns or all the active ads in these campaigns or I can choose to implement or to apply the rules on all active ad sets, all active ads or all active campaigns. This is the first option. The second option is going to the automated rule sections in Facebook ads. So I'm choosing this one and now I'm in the automated rules section. I just go to the create rule. You can choose whether you want to apply the rules to all active campaigns, all active ad sets or all active ads. The next thing you have to do is choose what you'd like the action, the automatic action you'd like Facebook to do. It can be turning off your campaign or ad set sending you a notification via email, adjusting your budget, etc. I suggest that after the video, you guys just dive deep, just dive deeper into this whole section and figure out all the options that you have here. Uh, another option that I, I didn't show you guys, which is interesting if you're running manual bids, is you can automatically ask Facebook to increase bids or decrease them. But let's focus on the thing that I find most important is turning off assets that are underperforming. So once you chose, you want to apply the rules to all active assets and you asked Facebook to turn off the assets. The next thing is choosing which conditions you want to trigger the action. So if you want a Facebook to pause the asset if your cost per result is greater than a certain amount or if you want Facebook to turn off the asset if your CPC is too low or whatever. We'll dive deeper into the conditions in a moment. Uh, just But one minute before we do so, I want to show you the other options here. So you can choose whether you want uh, the tested time range to be lifetime or you want it to be only for today's results or yesterday results or last two days etc etc you can also choose the schedule this means when do you want facebook to run this test and see if the rules if the conditions are met so i basically always choose the continuous schedule this means facebook is testing uh, these rules every 30 minutes then you can choose uh, who do you want Facebook to notify via email regarding any rules that were triggered and you obviously should give a, 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 the, each rule a, a detailed name that you can clearly understand whenever you manage your rules. So now that we know exactly how to set the rules in the ad manager, I want to speak with you guys about the two most important rules that I use. The first one is pausing based on CPA, pausing the asset which is underperforming based on the CPA. And the second one is pausing the asset based on the CPA add to cart. So the first one, as I said, is pausing, pausing the asset when the actual CPA is higher than the break even CPA and the spend is higher than the break even CPA multiplied by three. Let's give you guys an example. Let's say my break-even CPA is $10 and I spent already $30 and my actual CPA is higher than 10, let's say 15. So I, so, so I want Facebook to pause this underperforming asset. So I'll reiterate this. If I spent $30 and I had only two sales and I need to break, in order to break even, I had to get three sales after spending $30. I want Facebook to automatically pause this ad set. A derivative of this rule 
uh, this is a bit more conservative, but uh, me myself, I don't like losing money. I prefer to having really, really strict rules and not losing any money when I'm testing. Is, uh, and the other option, which is might be skipping a wing product. So the second, it's not the second, but the derivative of this rule is pausing an asset when the spend is higher than the break-even CPA and the number of purchases is zero. So let's say my break-even CPA is $10 and my Facebook ads already spent $10 and I didn't have any sales. So I want Facebook to pause this uh, specific ad set. This is, as I said, it's a bit more conservative, but I like using this, especially when uh, I already know if a product is performing or underperforming and I'm just scaling my ads. So I like to implement these rules uh, on new assets that I'm testing. If it's a, a lookalike audience or a new targeting based on interest or anything like that or a new girl or whatever. So how do you go about and really set these uh, rules in your uh, rule section? So you go and apply rule to all active assets. The action you want to be done is turn off the assets. And as we said, we want uh, the conditions to be turn off the asset when the cost per result is higher than uh, my break even CPA and my spend is higher than my break even CPA multiplied by three. So, cost per results is higher than $10 and my spend is higher than $30 in lifetime time range I want Facebook to pause this specific asset or all the assets that this rule this rule applies to and the rule name I'm going to give this is pause Pause, sorry about that. Pause asset CPA higher than ten dollars and spend higher than twenty dollars. And I hit the create. Uh, so, this was the first rule. Obviously, the second rule, the derivative of this rule, pausing the asset when the spend is higher than the break even and the purchases is zero. Uh, is something similar you go to spend is higher than 10 and purchases website website conversions purchases is smaller than one smaller than one is similar to zero and then the rule name is going to be Pause asset when spend is higher than 10 and purchase equals zero. We will remove this and we hit the create button. So that's it. I have the first stop loss rules implemented. Once my CPA is higher than my break even CPA, I want the underperforming asset to be paused. The next rule is pausing the asset based on underperforming metrics that are related to the auto cart. Once my CPA auto cart is higher than my break even CPA auto cart, once my actual CPA auto cart is higher than my break even CPA auto cart, and my spend is higher than my break even CPA auto cart multiplied by three, I want Facebook to pause this asset. So an example, let's say my break even CPA to add to cart is $3.5 and my actual CPA to add to cart is six, for example, or anything higher than, uh, than 3.5 and my spend is already 3.5 multiplied by three is 10.5. So this means I'm not getting enough auto cards uh, and I'm spending and I've already spent more than my break even purchase 
So I want Facebook to pause my asset as well. Gold was also saying that the derivative for this rule is similar to the derivative of the rule that I've showed you uh, two minutes ago. If, and this is also very, very conservative, if your spend is higher than your break even add to cart and you didn't have any add to carts, so you want Facebook to pause this asset. This is especially good when you already know the product performance and you already know how many autocrats you're supposed to get and you're now testing new targeting methods or a new kind of bidding. So you go ahead and you implement this rule for the break-even CPA autocart. So I'll show you guys an example of how this can be done in the ads manager. So apply the rule to all active assets. Action is turn off the asset when the cost per add to cart is greater than 3.5 and my spend is greater than 3.5 multiplied by 3 is 10.5 uh, pause asset when spend is higher than 3.5 and CPA A to C is higher than 3.5 so this means I'm going to pause I'm going to ask Facebook to automatically pause any asset that has spent more than $10.5 and the actual cost per add to cart is higher than $3.5 which is basically your break even CPA to add to cart I'm going to hit the create and I'm going to get a verification that this rule was created and now we can see it here in the manage uh, rule section so rule name Pause asset when spend is higher than 10.5 and CPA add to cart is higher than 3.5. This rule is, a, is applied to all active assets. Um, this and it shows you by whom this rule was created and more metrics. Another thing I want you guys to know that if you want to troubleshoot and understand which rules paused your actual assets, you can do you can go to the activity section which is here and then Facebook tells you exactly which rules was checked and if anything uh, was changed so for example I can see that uh, the rule which is called pause asset when CPA is higher than 20 uh, was checked uh, a few minutes ago and it changed nothing because none of my current uh, assets has met uh, this trigger so there's no notification that anything was changed guys a few more points uh, I would like you to know about before we finish this video um, these things are highly crucial if you want to be professional and you, and you don't want to lose money and I guess you don't want to lose money so this slide is very very important so the first point if you're running ads and suddenly there are problems with your Shopify checkout, you might lose a lot of money. Because let's say it happened to me, it actually happened to me last year uh, during Cyber Monday or was it Black Friday? I don't re really remember. But uh, I was spending 5,000 uh, US dollars every day on my Facebook ads and suddenly Shopify had a problem and my checkout didn't allow customers to actually check out so I was driving traffic to my website without even knowing that uh, my checkout was blocked and the basically users couldn't couldn't check out and couldn't pay me so in order to avoid this you can go to you can subscribe to the Shopify status updates which is here this is a page uh, in Shopify's website which gives you uh, the current update of the system so it tells you if there are any problems with the admin or 
with the checkout or whichever whichever section that the, you have in your store gives you a lot of different data which is not so highly relevant to you but it also tells you about past incidents so you can see that uh, there were different uh, problems in the storefronts or some admins uh, didn't have access to the stores etc etc the most important thing in this page is that you can sub subscribe to updates so what this basically means you can leave your phone number here and whenever you have whenever Shopify has any problems uh, in their stores or in the checkout or whatever they can send you an SMS a text message which arrives directly to your phone and then let's say you're in the gym or whatever you're not working at the moment and you get an SMS from Shopify and this SMS tells you that there's a problem with the checkout or problem on storefronts on uh, certain stores you immediately go into your store and check that uh, the whole funnel and you see that uh, your conversion wasn't affected if your conversion rates were affected you should consider pausing your ad sets obviously uh, if you pause your ad sets it can be a bit problematic with the whole Facebook optimization uh, stuff but uh, sometimes it, if you're running in high volumes it's better to have your ad set pause than driving traffic to your website which is uh, not live at the moment or has any checkout problems so you just write down your number you, sub you subscribe and from now on any update any problem with the Shopify system it's, it's going to notify you via text messages this is this is amazing I use it in my phone and also my wife gets notifications to her cell phone so whenever there's a problem we immediately check this out in our store and we check the whole funnel next thing uh, obviously we spoke we focused about uh, creating automated rules for your Facebook ads today but uh, running automated rules is something you need to do also if you're running Google ads if you're running native ads whichever ad platform you're running it's all it's always very important to use automated rules some people don't use it because they are not professional or don't have enough knowledge and experience or if they work in an agency they don't really mind about losing money as much as ah uh, as much as you uh, would like to avoid losing money because it's money from your own pocket your hard-earned money so you should use automated rules not only in Facebook but also in any other ad platform that you're using it's kind of similar the techniques are similar it's not so not so it's not so complex you just go to Google Ads or whatever and you find the automated rules section and you implement the rules and the last thing which I suggest you guys do uh, assuming that you're already using Google Analytics you can ask Google Analytics you can set Google Analytics to send you a notification to your email uh, anytime your conversion rates drops so what I basically did is I asked Google Analytics to check my conversion rates every hour or every three hours and whenever my conversion rates drop below a certain point it sends me an email a notification that tells me that my conversion rate has dropped and now I know I need to check something in my funnel many times it's just something natural you know it's a certain hour of the day or something natural that makes sense and the conversion rate drop isn't so crucial but on the other hand it might be a technical problem that you would like to investigate so you should also set this Google Analytics notifications to notify you about any conversion drops in your store that's it for today guys I hope this video gave you a ton of value please start using automated rules you don't want to lose money and you don't want to monitor your ads every hour you have to use these automated rules in order to automatically pause underperforming assets if you like this video please subscribe comment and hit the like button whether if you're on Facebook or YouTube if you have any questions just write them down in the comment section and I'll be happy to answer and clarify anything